Welcome back to Dino Joe's Dinosaur Model Club. Today we are looking at Spinosaurus models. The Papai Spinosaurus is from 2007. Like all Papo models, the detail, paint job and sculpt are incredible. The body is almost fairly accurate, scientifically, except the sail, which could be taller and is symmetrical. And of course, as with all earlier models, it is unfortunately bipedal. My biggest problem is the skull, which is completely inaccurate and far too broad and makes it look like an alligator's head. It is still a brilliant model though. The Carnegie Spinosaurus from 2009 has an accurate nasal crest as well as the conical teeth for catching fish. It also has a kink in front of the jaw known as the subnarial gap. It is lean and skinny but the famous dorsal sail was too rounded and symmetrical. Unfortunately, it's now outdated, as Spinosaurus is now believed to be mainly aquatic and quadrupedal. The favourite Spinosaurus is from 2014. Unfortunately, the jaws don't look like those from the real skull, especially the subnarial gap, which is an important distinguishing feature. However, the sail is accurate as it is high at the back. It is also like the Carnegie, as it is very lean, bony and muscular. The favourite desktop Spinosaurus has better sculpted jaws than those of the other favourite model. However, they are still not completely accurate, including the underpronounced subnarial gap. It is really nicely detailed and painted, and has lots of nice textures, including wrinkles, scoots, and bumps. It is also not a quadruped as they are now believed to be. Finally, the Collector Spinosaurus from 2015. The latest Spinosaurus release is based on the latest 2014 reconstruction by Paul Sorino and Nizar Ibrahim, so is the most accurate at the moment. Look at the sail, nasal crest and jaws. All very accurate. It is beautifully sculpted, painted and posed. The only problem is that there is no way its wrist could carry the weight of such a huge dinosaur. But this is only a small problem. In conclusion, they are all great models. I think the best is the collector, as it is the most accurate according to current paleontology 
and is also nicely sculpted, painted and posed. It is also incredible to think that it could have been as long as 20 metres and as heavy as 20 tonnes.